border between Bosnia and Croatia looks like a quiet haven. But thousands of migrants come here to cross illegally into the EU. Police catch us and come back 24 times. They call it the game, because if you fail, you have to start all over again. Croatia's police are accused of pushing people back violently. Head me, head me, head me. My legs, my back. Kategorički odbijam da hrvatska policija nikoga tuče. We went to investigate what is happening at this border. We can clearly see that uh, uh, physical trauma that's been inflicted on them. And found that it might well be Europe's border of shame. Vazvali se van iz političkih kombija i tjeralo da sami pređu nas na bosansku granicu i dalje se snalaze sami. Proješa, you must go. We pay money, we working, we take taxi, we take bus, and we do everything to going. But when we are going to Croatia, police catch us and send in Bosnia, all time. Hanan and her family tried and failed to reach Europe 24 times since they left Iran last October. And it's been expensive. We uh, give she, that was woman and uh, his husband, uh, 7,000 euro. We give she to take us in Austria, cash money. We pay to she. She it's uh, I think three or four months. She tell, I take you, I take you, I take you tomorrow after tomorrow. But she don't do anything for us. It's difficult to get through to her smuggler. Hello. Hello. And when she does reach her, it's always the same story. I'm uh, now calling, calling uh, everybody to doing something, okay, my sister? A little bit stay, uh, Sabur. Sabur, uh, we doing something a little, a wait a little bit, okay? But Hanan is losing patience and hope. We are tired, you are tired, everybody tired. And very difficult for, uh, for uh, you, for me, for everybody. Give me time to I find good, very good uh, way to you go. No, she don't answer. On the other side of the border, Croatian policemen are making it harder for people like Hanan to cross. Nazirati ovakvu graničnu crtu i ovakvu državnu granicu jest izazov. Međutim, Republika Hrvatska ima dovoljan broj policijskih službenika, dovoljan broj graničnih policijskih službenika. Radi se o brojcu 6500 policijskih službenika koji naziru državnu granicu. Posjedujemo dovoljno tehničkih sredstava, u vidu termovizijskih kamera, mobilnih termovizijskih vozila, dronova, helikoptera. Također koristimo i avion Frontexa koji nazire granicu iz Raka. Kolege, evo upravo su ispred vas. Sa ljeve i sa desne strane imaju dosta više nego smo u početku mogli vidjeti. Vama upravo sa vaše ljeve strane i grupa u Špunju. Organizirajte 
Almost 12,000 migrants so far have arrived this year. A third of them stay in transit camps funded by the EU. There is only one reason why people are coming to Bosnia-Herzegovina, because there is a sense that it's easy to cross from here into Croatia onwards to Slovenia. So from a migrant's perspective, this is very much an open route, and that is the only reason why people are coming here. Last year, some 20,000 people crossed from Bosnia into Croatia unofficially and then disappeared. Their best chance to succeed is to pay smugglers, like Nade, who says people give him two to three thousand euros each to be smuggled from Bosnia to Croatia. Every day go to 200, 300, every day. If you have money, easy. Go to pay to somebody and go, Italy. If no have money and five, six day walk to go to Slovenia. Ali can't afford a smuggler. He's played the game solo 11 times. After living through war in Iraq, he left Mosul. My father is dying. I have my mother, she is sick. I have brothers. I have family, I have to help. I, I just think about my family now. But getting into Europe is harder than he thought. We think it's be like before, 2015. The border be open and the people go normal in Europe. We, I be think like that. He didn't expect the crossing to be so difficult also costly. Every time we go into the game, the police catch you. Is check your wallet, it's check your stuff. You have like money, big money, is ticket. Like uh, one time 200, I lost. One time I be hiding 500, uh, 400 for taxi. I check my wallet after the police take me back, it's gone. The police take. And if you have good phone, it's gonna take it in you. But there are even worse accusations made by Ali. Those uh, police be seven and were in ma mosque. And those police start hit me, hit me, hit me. My legs, my back. So every time, every time we go in, the police without mosque. Most migrants try their luck at night and get pushed back at night. Often after being arrested deep inside Croatia, like Mehmet and Adil. Along Bosnia's northern border, there are plenty of witnesses. Apart from birdsong, Merima hears crying regularly too. Hiding from their binoculars and cameras, we filmed the Croatian police just after they dumped migrants on the border. A practice which is against the EU's Charter of Fundamental Rights. After being pushed back, 
many end up on Seat's land. Svakodnevno se susrećem sa problemima sa ovim migrantima viš evo ima preko godinu i više dana. Iz tih razloga što bez obzira koji koji vremenski period zima, ljeto, jesen, ovaj nju nje progone vamo hrvatska policija. A većinom hrvatska ta policija kako bi nazvao to to je zločin što radi. Tuče i po nogama da oni ne bi se mogli hodati, da se ne bi mogli kretati, da ne bi se vraćali, on to naj, najvjerovatnije smatraju, da se ne bi ponovo vraćali nazad. Hundreds of migrants have been treated in Bihać hospital, a few kilometers from the border. They agree to show us dozens of confidential medical records listing the type of injuries migrants are being treated for. Concussions, fractures, evidence of violence are all documented here. Safet Kudusovic is a doctor in the emergency department. We have stories when they go on the game, as they call it, to cross the mountain, and uh, we have those kinds of stories. Sometimes it's uh, hypothermia, but sometimes we have stories of them being beaten uh, when they cross the border. Mostly they say they are beaten by uh, police officers in the, uh, when they cross the border. And in some cases we can clearly see that uh, uh, physical trauma that's been inflicted on them is literally from someone else, uh, in a specific sort of way. We can say if there's a specific blunt trauma, we can say what sort of object was used uh, in that uh, for, uh, sort of trauma. And we sometimes can see uh, clearly that those are sort of sticks or similar objects used in inflicting those traumas. We had to hide to film one of these unofficial pushbacks. Two Croatian policemen, after checking the footpath into Bosnia was clear, opened the back door. And a van load of people are told to cross the concrete barrier that marks Croatia's official border. After they were expelled, we met Saeed and his friends in an abandoned house. They gave us a mobile phone video they recorded just after we left. Telephone, my friend. Telephone, iPhone. 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 iPhone 10. Give this telephone for this uh, person, my friend. The group includes a pregnant woman and a baby and are asking for their other phones to be returned to them. <laughs> One man starts to argue with the police. He's referring in police code to the exact location where migrants are pushed back. For the time being, it's game over for Saeed and his friends. You must go. No. no one was physically assaulted this time, but weren't so lucky before. He told me don't bag again to Croatia. If you bag again, I will fight, fight you again. Because when he fight me, it's very strong. <laughs> 
You can't see I'm going in the down. I need to stand up. I can't like this. And I'm going the down again. Maybe three times I'm going and I'm going in the down. I can't stand up. The location where they were pushed back is familiar to someone else too. It took us weeks to convince this Croatian policeman to talk and we've agreed to hide his identity. Marko, not his real name, says he had to push migrants back to Bosnia several times after arresting them in Croatia. Ukoliko bi se radilo recimo o osobama tak 20-25 godina, tipa iz Pakistana, njih se nije uvodilo u proceduru, njih se direktno dali, ja koji sam to napravio, nažalost, mora se napraviti nekoliko puta, se vraćamo na granicu, ja sam osobno to napravio u 2018. četiri puta, tri puta smo išli na bosansku granicu i jedan na srpsku. He says he didn't know pushbacks were illegal when the policy was started. Nama niko nije direktno rekao koja je procedura i šta, nego tek kasnije smo mi sami po sebi kroz novine, kroz članke, kroz stavke u zakonu smo shvatili da mi to ipak ne bi smjeli raditi i neki od nas to više nisu ni htjeli raditi. He witnessed inappropriate, even inhumane behavior. Na osobno sam vidio da su ljude cijelu noć Znači, cijelu noć njih 18 tak držali u malom kombiju, zatvorene. Ne može niko reći da je tim ljudima bilo u tim malim kombijima, a njih 18 nutra na gurno ugodno. No direct violence, but plenty of policemen were talking about it. Priče kolale su svakakve, od uzimanja telefona, uzimanja novaca, da su ih tukli. At the border, the police denies any wrongdoing. Dakle, Hrvatska policija sva svoja, postup, sva svoja postupanja prema osobama koje pokušaju ili nezakonito uđu na područje Republike Hrvatske provodi u skladu sa zakonom. But a number of migrants, including Ali, have recognized one of the Croatian border guards. Yeah, that guy. This guy? Yes. How do you recognize him? I, three or three. Uh, three times, four times he took us back and he's hit us. I cannot forget his face. Croatia's government declined to comment, but recently the president admitted that when dealing with migrants, there is a need for a little violence, she said, when enforcing pushbacks. Zagreb, the capital of the latest country to join the European Union in 2013. Croatia has a human rights champion. She was appointed by the parliament six years ago. Her role is to examine complaints involving all state bodies, including the police. The pushbacks are reality. I don't think there's anyone um, that can reasonably deny it. And she believes the police are withholding evidence from her office. We don't have to suspect, we know that the evidence is being withheld from us. The information and data is being withheld from us. Contrary to the legal guarantees and international documents that Croatia ratified. But she argues Croatia isn't the only authority responsible for what's happening at the border. The European Union is fine with it. We know for, I'd say, years already that the European Union is fine with pushbacks. It pushbacks not only that they happen at Croatian-Bosnian or Croatian-Serbian border. Pushbacks happen at the border with Libya and Greece and other places, so it's not new. Everyone in the European Union is allowing it to happen. Whoever is watching the news is allowing it to happen. It's a reality. A 
reality that seems to be denied by many in the EU. Amid the misinformation, untruths and fake news, it is sometimes hard to know what is actively going on when it comes to migration in Europe. The Commissioner doesn't seem to be concerned at what's being reported at the border. Our external borders are better managed and better protected than ever before. We want to help and support Member States even more in securing our external borders. The European Union has given more than $150 million to Croatia in the last few years to reinforce its border police and help integrate migrants. New vehicles, surveillance equipment and a brand new police station hoping to curb these irregular entries into the EU. We hid all night on the Bosnian side of the border to gather more evidence of migrants being deported. As night turns into day, dozens of people are expelled from Croatia in a remote area far away from the official border crossing sites. To avoid being seen, once again we had to leave, quickly. On many woodland trails, people's belongings are left after they're pushed back. Each shoe, each piece of clothing, blanket or a mobile phone has a history and a former owner. They take our foods, they take... Robbed? Beaten, many migrants have a similar story when they're kicked out of Croatia. Local and international human rights organizations have been documenting the alleged Croatian police abuses for months. We have seen collective explosions, we have seen threats, violence, many, many accounts of people saying that they have been beaten, that they have been robbed by Croatian police officers. Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch have published detailed reports on police violence and the unlawful expulsions, and call on Croatia and the European Union to stop them. Croatia says it is its duty to discourage people from crossing irregularly, but with little chance of being held accountable. You don't have the victim. The victim is gone. And if you want to prove something happened, if you want to sanction the perpetrator, you need to have the victim. Best advice I could give for any of those people that want to see the justice done, claiming that something like that happened, find a lawyer. Invest start a court suit, ask for a proper investigation and take it to Strasbourg. That seems to be the only way in which you can prove. Ali isn't planning to start a court case. His only goal is to reach Germany so he can learn and earn. You miss your family, you miss your friends, you miss your hood, of course, all that. So it's hard for me, but what I have to do? I have to make it. I have family waiting me. We don't have a home. We lose, I lose my father, I lose my, my city, I lose my friends. What I have to do? I have to keep going to get to German and work and help my family, that's it. Hanan has no intention of returning to her former life either. We know what we want. We want just to be, uh, have a normal life, just normal life. I know it's not easy. We should be try, we should be uh, start uh, from zero. 
Her 25th attempt at the game in Croatia was successful. She's now in Germany with her family. Others keep trying, despite the dangers of violence and losing their money. At a border where European values of freedom, dignity and human rights are too often ignored.